a dramatic turn of events in the Texas Republican Party. The campaign from Governor Greg Abbott and Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton to remove members of their own party from office looks to be at least partially successful. There were a few big winners last night, Greg Abbott, Ken Paxton, Dan Patrick, even Donald Trump, and one big loser, House Speaker Dave Phelan. Joshua Blank is research director with the Texas Politics Project. The reality was that there were many people looking to knock the speaker off long before the impeachment of Ken Paxton. What the impeachment did was galvanize those forces and bring more attention to Phelan in a way that really was sort of hard to escape. Now, Dade Phelan, one third of the so-called big three in Texas leadership, is heading to a runoff against David Covey, a Republican backed by Paxton. Another third of that big three, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, stood behind Covey on election night. The people of Southeast Texas are tired of having a representative who says one thing in the district and then goes in Austin and does the total opposite. In a statement last night, Phelan says in part, this runoff is not just another race. It's the frontline battle for the soul of our district. And he wasn't the only Republican facing a challenging election night. Governor Abbott endorsed 14 challengers to rural Republicans who voted against legislation that would have allocated taxpayer money for private education. Four of those Republicans were already retiring, but seven of Abbott's picks for school choice policymakers are now headed to the House, with another four heading to runoffs, which means school choice policy looks more likely next session. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.